Watch it guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to remove XP Security 2012. Now this is a rogue program and it infects your system and stops you being able to get on the internet uh, and other things like that, it disables windows updates, firewall and so on. So let's uh, have a go at trying to remove it. Now assuming that you haven't got anything on your system already and if I try to go onto the internet or into C drive here just see where this resides. I can see in test, that's my account. Close this off. Local settings, application data. Now you won't be able to see that folder until you open show hidden files and you may have to do that inside a, a safe mode there. But this is the culprit here, he's the one that's causing all the trouble and you can't delete this file from this location because it's protected. It will say access denied or something of that nature. Okay, so what we need to do, it may allow us to right click, uh, rename it or something like that, which will then disable it. Okay, so I've renamed that now, and I'm going to reboot into uh, safe mode. Okay, so you need to keep tapping F8 on your keyboard to enter safe mode. And what we're going to be doing here is going into safe mode with networking. Now the reason why I've tried to rename that file is to stop it running. Because I know even in safe mode it stops you getting on the internet and stuff. So we're going to go into safe mode with networking. And I'm going to go into my account. Yours may be different. Mine's called test. I want to say yes to this. Okay, so now I'm in safe mode, and the first thing I want to do is show you how to show hidden files. I'm going to go into my computer, tools, folder options, and from there we want to go view, and this is the location we're interested in. Now you're probably looking at this setup at the moment, but you need to put the dot in there, take the tick out of these two, like so. Okay, so we want to go into C drive documents and settings and then the actual user account mine's called test yours will probably be something like your name local settings and also application data and this is the file that I renamed to stop the application from running but there's still loads of problems we need to fix okay these are probably issues as well so what we're looking at at the moment, we can't run any applications, even in safe mode. So this can be quite tricky. Now I'm assuming that you haven't got any programs downloaded to run. So you wouldn't be able to get on the internet either. Because it's now caused a few problems. So what we're going to do is show you a way around it. Now you could be thinking we're going to go reg edit inside the registry, but it won't let you do that either. So I'll show you how to get around it. Go my computer, C drive, and then we want to go Windows, and then System32, and we want to make sure we're coming down to command.com. Okay, so once we get down to command.com, it will allow us to run this application from there. Then we want to go Reg Edit, like so, and this will allow us to open up the registry. Okay, so once we're there, you can see I'm at the location but I'll show you exactly how to get there I just need to pull this across, it's a bit fiddly okay so we want to go to this location, classes root and we want to come down to .exe okay so as you can see I'm in this location here now .exe shell open and command and this is the culprit here so what we're going to do is look at this and it wants to look like that okay so what we need to do here is make sure we're taking out the rubbish at the front and click OK so that's identical to the top okay so that's that one what we need to do now is come down to exe file ok 
okay so we've got exe file which is here and once we've come down to here I want to go down to shell again and open and command again as you can see it's been edited so we need to do that again and if you look in here you can see the actual com the location where the actual file is the UB uh, uob.exe that's the file that I renamed so what we need to do here is just do the same thing again is just take this out like so click OK we can now close this off exit and once we restart Uh, the registry there we could now actually run programs from this location you see so we can actually do what we wanted to do to fix the issue now okay okay so we we'll reboot to the desktop I was meant to go into safe mode with networking and I safe mode by mistake so now we're at this location here we can now download the program that we wanted malware bytes like so and you can then remove the virus I don't need to download it I've already got it installed but that's how you would be able to get the program so remember always update like so click OK there go back to scan and you would want to do a full scan but just for this video I'm going to do a quick scan just to make sure there's nothing else left on the system and the files that are the culprits normally are the files in that location okay so that's the uh, scan done and as you can see it's in the recycler just remove selected and I would do a full scan at that stage it wants to restart and I would say yes here and I'll just tidy up the last few bits but that's how you get yourself back up and running pretty straightforward if you know what you're doing just going to delete these couple of here that are okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I hope you enjoy these videos if you do please remember guys hit the subscribe button show your support and uh, if you haven't been over the forums yet register over there and if you've got any problems I will help you fix them okay guys thanks a lot for your support though bye for now